Beautiful find, guys. Absolutely beautiful find. The name of this creek is set over there at the bridge. I'll try to get it in this video. At the bridge there that is falling apart, credit to our, uh, our friends that I investigate. Um, there's a fish down there, a salmon. Dead one. I didn't think much about it. I'm over here just enjoying this water. You know, washing feet, washing face, you know, just, it's cold and it just tells you something, you know. Here, I'll try to slow down, sorry. And I'm realizing it's a little stinky around here. And then I happen to look over there. And what we get to see is, we get to see a, I don't know if that's a male or a female. I'm just going to throw out there that maybe it's a male. So what he's up here doing is he's uh, running his sperm over the eggs that would be left in the creek. And the huge awesomeness is, I, you know, I don't know for sure, but this creek here, to have salmon up from the Fraser River to here. And we're going to know the name of that spot right there. I don't know if this has been done for years, guys. I really don't know. Like I've been telling you guys, there's a lot going on out here. And it's very dangerous. And it's changing humanity. And the missing people and animal um, mutilations and all that kind of stuff come into the whole play. The glowing phenomenon that everybody connects with the UFO, that they have lights or they shine. Okay? It's actually a projection from here off of Earth. As weird as we think it, it goes biblical. It goes all the way, guys. It goes to the Pharaoh's times. You know, it goes. Anyways, they work with all what we get to see here. All this landscape and stuff, that's them. They've been doing this forever. For the millions and maybe trillions of years that we kind of talk about sometimes. That's them. We're second to them. Look at that beautiful man. Okay, we're second, no doubt, on that part of the scale. Anyway, so where was I? Yeah, the salmon coming back. Get, being able to come into here. You know, one of my thoughts was, well, maybe those couple were caught and just brought and released up here or whatever. Nah, I'm not going to go with that. It's, uh, it's more like it's really part of the migration of the fish. It's, the, it's, this creek's been opened up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's for sure been opened up to some extent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up above and get the name of our bridge here. So hold on. Actually, before the, I do that, though, I just wanted to get... Uh, sorry about the shakes. You can go into zoom. You can go into... I like to do that, guys, with the light change. You can go into a slow mode. What you do is you see those um, hewing, almost purplish black views you can get? We'll try to make them better. Try to get in closer to see them better. It's up to you to play their game. Now I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna go back to here, put it in a normal color. color. You might have been hearing a little bit of weird swapping kind of noise. I don't know what's going on with that, but I can almost feel it in my... I got one ear that's probably damaged more than the other. It has more of a physical hearing, a physical hurting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit pause and we're going to go to get the name of the bridge and you guys can bring it up on Google Earth. 
I tell you what, we're going to walk together. I will hold my camera pretty secure. And hopefully you get good, good view and not too wiggly and stuff. Because I'm looking at the green. Beautiful day up, up here in British Columbia, I tell you. This is November 1st. And... Yeah, it's just, it's a new life in the van. And I've been trying to explore my mind a little bit and figure out what's going on. What's going on with me? What's going on with the van life? What's going on with the, the world that I've changed my channel now to be called Supernatural Beings? You know, what's going on with all that? Let's go look at the bridge over here. view that way. Some of you are probably going, no, don't walk away, you can't walk away. And it's kind of like, I've got to walk away. I've got to walk away. Not walk away from what I'm bringing, but um, walk away from that spot right now. And what you got to start realizing and committing to is egg me on, egg me on, because nobody talks the same way as me, and you have to really realize that. And you can say, yeah, right, prove it. What are, what do you say that other people aren't saying? And I'll just throw out some stuff, and you got to be honest and go, have you really heard it like this, in this context, and so on and so forth about life? It's just human's life. So here's Taylor Street, and I guess this is Taylor Bridge or something. Anyway, so this is just life here. Just like your life over there. But I happen to be connected into something that's working out really awesome. And it's telling lots of people, lots of information. Stuff they feel they maybe already knew. Or they're getting to know better, or whatever type thing. It doesn't matter. I'm not too worried about all of the fine nitty gritty think kind of things going on. I'm gonna put my elbow down. Um, I know the nitty gritties, and I need to tell you guys. And I don't have an audience, and the audience has to become huge because it's about world knowledge. It's about world understanding. This is not for one country to understand. This is for all the world to understand, and this is a Canadian saying this and trying to bring it to, to light for you. So, how about a brother? Start talking. What are we doing here? What am I presenting to you? How much more do you really want to know? See how crappy this bridge is? From them wearing it get down, guys. Cheers.